When you are focused on something you really don't want, it's easier to maintain focus on the unwanted point and even find other evidence to support that negative point than to direct yourself towards a more positive perspective because similar thoughts attract each other therefore if you try to. Jump from an unwanted and truly negative point to one that is positive and pleasant related to something very desired you will not be able to make that jump as there will be a very high vibrational disparity between the two thoughts, the determination to gradually firmly deviate towards the things desired is really the best strategy to improve your personal vibration when you wake up in the morning after. Several hours of sleep, therefore, in a state of vibrational detachment from unwanted things you are in the moment of. Most positive vibration throughout the day, if you start your day even before getting out of bed, by observing a handful of positive aspects in your life, you will already get up from there with the most positive mindset and the thoughts that the law of attraction brings you as a springboard for each. New day will be much more satisfying and beneficial. In other words, every morning you have the chance to. Establish a vibrational base, a kind of reference point that will determine the general tone of thoughts for the rest of the day. Although there is always the possibility of some events during the day diverting you from the starting point over time, you will realize that you have established complete control of your thoughts, your vibration, your point of attraction, and your life. The moment of sleeping is the time for. Realignment of energies when you are sleeping or during the time when you are not consciously focused on your physical body, the attraction you have for it is interrupted sleep is the time when your inner being can realign energies and is also a period of revitalization and replenishment of the body. As you lay your head on the pillow, every night say to yourself today, I will rest well. I know that all my attraction to it. This body will be interrupted, and when I wake up tomorrow morning, I will literally resurface in my physical experience. By doing this, you will receive the greatest benefits provided by moments of sleep. Waking up in the morning is not much different from being born. It's not much different from the day you first emerged into your physical body, therefore. As soon as you open your eyes in the morning, say today, I will look for reasons to feel good. Nothing is more important than feeling good. Good nothing is more important than choosing thoughts that attract other thoughts, which in turn will raise my vibrational frequency. If you lie back in bed to sleep, worried about any situation you will be aligning with. A point where you can reverberate the positive aspects of the universe. Your vibration will always be exactly where you left it last time. Therefore, if you lie back in bed to sleep worried about any situation when you wake up, you will start the day exactly at the point where, where your mind and your vibration were the night before and thoughts for the new day will be launched from this base from there that Law of attraction will continue to bring other similar thoughts, but if you make an effort and go to bed trying to list the positive aspects of your life and then purposefully release those thoughts, remembering that during sleep you will disconnect recharge and rest, and when you wake up, open your eyes to say today, I will look for reasons to feel good. You will end up gaining control over your thoughts in your entire life instead of worrying about the world's problems or thinking about the things you have to do during the day simply lie in bed and notice the positive aspects of that moment. Like for example, this bed is cozy, how soft the fabric of the sheets is how my body is feeling well and revitalized, how this pillow is soft, how refreshing the air I'm breathing is how good it is to be alive you need to start. Pulling your string of pleasant and positive thoughts early on on the law of attraction is like a lens that focuses what is around. You therefore, if you wake up looking for some immediate reason to feel good, the law of attraction will offer you another similar feeling, and then another, and another, and that's what we can really call getting out of bed on the right foot with a little effort and the desire to feel good you can. Direct your thoughts to increasingly pleasant scenarios until you completely change your thinking habits, thus your point of attraction and the improvement of your thoughts will begin to appear almost immediately. You will discover that there is tremendous leverage and power in the mind 
An example of a positive aspects process for bedtime is the orientation to action in life, which makes you believe that it is very difficult to make things happen. But by learning to deliberately direct your thoughts, you will discover that there is tremendous leverage and power in the mind when you start to focus more consistently in the direction of what you want in, instead of diluting the power of thought. By thinking about the desired and then immediately about the unwanted, you will understand through your own experience what we are saying. Due to your orientation to action, you often try hard and work hard as a result, most of what you attract is attention to what is wrong or pay more attention to what needs to be fixed instead of directing attention to what you want here is a good suggestion for applying the positive aspects process. At bedtime, as soon as you are in bed, try to remember some of the most pleasant things that happened. During the day, since many things undoubtedly happened, you may need to analyze them for some time. And you may remember unpleasant things that happened even so. Stand firm in your determination to find good things, and when you find them, meditate on these things. Filling your tank with positivity, say things like one thing that pleased me about, that was, or my favorite part of that, was complete with. Any positive example you remember, reliving the best parts of your day then, as you feel the beneficial effect of your positive thoughts, Focus on your dominant intention for this exact moment, which is to get a good night's sleep and wake up refreshed in the morning. Say to yourself, I'm going to sleep now. While I'm sleeping, my thoughts will be inactive. The attraction will be interrupted and my physical body will be completely revitalized on all levels. Turn your attention to the things around you like the comfort of your bed, the softness of your pillow, the well-being of your moment then gently project into your mind your intention, I will sleep well and wake up refreshed and with another positive and pleasant point of attraction at that moment. Disconnect from the world and sleep example of a positive aspects process. For the morning when you wake up the next morning, you will feel in that positive and well-being place. And your first thoughts will be something like, all right, I'm awake. I'm back in the world of physical sensations lie there. A little longer, enjoy the comfort of your bed, and then emit a thought like today. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, or who I'm doing, it with my main intention will be to look for things that bring me well-being when I feel good. I am in harmony with what I consider good when I am. Well, I feel in the mood to attract things that please me when I get there, and when I feel good, I feel great, it's okay if the feeling of well-being is simply due to the moment because you will realize that you will re-receive much more than that lie in bed for another two or three minutes, that's enough. And look for positive aspects in the environment around you then, throughout the day, start recognizing additional positive aspects and look for reasons to feel good no matter what the object of your attention is at the first moments of any negative emotion, which will probably happen because all Although you started the day looking for reasons to feel good, there is always some negativity already in action regarding certain issues. You should stop at the first sign of any negative emotion, interrupt everything, and say I want to. Feel good. I feel some negative emotions that show that I am focused on something I don't want. What do I really want? Immediately return your attention to what you want, staying focused on this new positive thought for as long as necessary to feel the positive energy start flowing again through your system as you go about your activities throughout the day. Look for more reasons to laugh and more reasons to have fun when you want to feel good. Don't take things too seriously. When you don't take things too seriously, you become less vulnerable to the perception of the lack of things you want. When you don't focus your attention on the lack of what you want, you feel better. And when you feel better, you will. Attract more of what you want and your life gets better and better so when you get tonight and lay your head. On the pillow, you will have many wonderful things to meditate on as you gently drift into a calm and restorative sleep state and wake up the next day feeling even better I know how I want to feel sometimes. When you find yourself in the midst of an uncomfortable situation, you struggle to find some positive aspect of the problem. Some things are intolerable, certain things are so complicated and so bad 
that it seems impossible to find something good in them, but that's because you want to make too big a leap from the horror of the situation you're focused on to the solution you want, in other words. If you want to find a solution that fixes the problem, but you are in a position where no action seems appropriate, remember that although there might not be any positive possibility of action at that moment, and even though you don't know what action to take or how you could feel better, you always know in every circumstance how you want to feel. It's a situation similar to someone saying, I just jumped out of a plane and I don't have a parachute. What should I do there? Are situations where due to specific circumstances, there is no action or thought that at that moment can make a difference in the rapidly approaching outcome. And just as sometimes you can't find any action that fixes things there is also no thought that can change them immediately. But if you understand the power of the mind, the incredible leverage that pleasant thoughts emitted consistently provide and begin to choose them. Deliberately using feelings and emotions as a guide, you can easily transform your life into an experience filled with good moments through focusing on feelings. If you can find even a minimal feeling of relief in a deliberately chosen thought, your gentle journey towards the solution will begin what to do in certain situations may not seem very clear to you and sometimes you may not even be able to identify exactly what you want, but there is never a situation where you are unable to identify in some way how you want to feel. In other words, you know you would prefer to feel joyful rather than sad, rested instead of exhausted, invigorated. Instead of weakened, you know you prefer to feel productive rather than unproductive, free, instead of trapped growing and not stagnant and so on, there is no action sufficient to counterbalance a misaligned thought. But when you start to gain control over how you feel by deliberately choosing the direction of your thoughts, you discover the powerful leverage they have by deliberately placing your yourself in a position to gain more control of your own thinking. You reach a state of complete control of your own life experience. Nothing is more important than feeling good becoming more determined about the things you think is not difficult. You are almost always specific about what you eat, the car you drive and the clothes you wear. Becoming a deliberate thinker requires no more choice deliberation than this. However, learning to deliberately direct your thoughts towards what is most pleasing teeing has a much greater impact on improving your life than the food you choose the clothes you wear or the car you drive upon hearing these words and feeling them resonate within you with meaning and power. You will never again experience any negative emotion without realizing the importance and the guidance it provides a help that will guide your thoughts in a more productive and beneficial direction. In other words, you will never again feel negative emotions without understanding that they warn you that you are attracting something unwanted a significant change happens within you the moment you consciously perceive the emotions and the guidance they provide. Because before even ignoring what a negative emotion meant, you continue to attract more negativity. Therefore, understanding your emotions provides you with control of your life. Nothing is more important than feeling good. Whenever you do not feel good, you should stop and say nothing is more important than feeling good. I want to find a reason to feel feel good at this moment. You will discover an improved thought that will lead to another and to another as you develop the habit of seeking good and pleasant thoughts. The circumstances around you will begin to improve the law of attraction demands. It when you feel good, you experience the sensation that doors are opening and the universe is cooperating with you. And when you feel bad, it's as if the doors are closing and cosmic cooperation is interrupted. Whenever you feel a negative emotion, you are resisting something you want, and this resistance will take a toll on your life. It will take a toll on your physical body and on the amount of wonderful things you could allow into your life through this process of living life fully and noticing the desired and undesired things. You create a kind of vibrational reserve, which in a way sets aside for you the desired things you have already identified until you emit a vibrational match 
that allows you to receive the full manifestation of your desires. But until you find a way to feel good about these desires, even though they have not yet manifested in your life, it may seem that they are outside a door you cannot open as you. Begin to look for more positive aspects in the things that occupy your mind, and as you choose freely and spontaneously, the positive side of the range of mental possibilities and issues that dominate your thoughts, that door will open and everything you desire will flow easily into your life. The better things are the better they will get when you choose positive aspects of whatever is in the scope of your attention. You in a way tune in to the most positive aspects of everything. Of course, you can also tune in Negatively, many people struggle against an attitude of self-criticism resulting from negative comparisons they were directed to by parents, teachers, or peers, and there is nothing more harmful to your ability to attract positivity than a negative attitude towards yourself, often by choosing a topic about which you have. Fewer negative thoughts, you can tune in to a more satisfying frequency then from that more rewarding place, you redirect your thoughts and find more positive aspects about yourself than would normally happen by finding more positive aspects in the world around you. You also discover more positive things in yourself. And when that happens, finding more positive aspects around you becomes increasingly easier by finding things about yourself that you don't like you will also find more of those same things in others and will say the worst things are the worst they will get but by deliberately focusing your attention on the positive things you see in yourself and others, you will discover more positive things and will find yourself saying the better things are the better they will get is vitally important to always. Value the search for the most positive aspects of everything and focus on the things you want because everything that comes to you depends on this simple premise. You get more and more of what you think about whether you want it or not you are the creator of your own experience, my universe is. Balanced positively and negatively here then is the key point, you are the creator of your own experience we could. Say that you attract your own experience, the act of creating is not about identifying something chasing after it and getting it the act of creating is about focusing on an object of desire, tuning your thoughts more precisely to the aspects of the issue you would like to experience and then allowing. The law of attraction to bring it to you, no matter whether you are remembering something from the past imagining, something for the future or observing a point in the present, you are constantly emitting vibrational thoughts to which the law of attraction responds. You can refer to your own thoughts as desires or beliefs. A belief is simply a continued thought, but whatever the focus of your attention you are, Establishing your point of attraction since every issue is actually composed of two options, what is desired and the lack of what is desired, it is possible for you to believe that you are focused on the positive side, when in fact you are focused on the negative side. People may say, I want more money, but what they are really focusing on is the fact that they do not have as much money as they need. Most people talk about their desire to have health when they feel sick, in other words, the attention to what they do not want is the driving force behind their observations about what they want. But in most cases, although they may say things that seem to indicate they are focused on the desire, they are not only through conscious recognition of how you are feeling as you speak, can you know whether you are far. Attracting positive or negative things, although you cannot see immediate proof of what you attract, what you think is gathering thoughts, vibrations, and compatible energies until at a certain moment the evidence of what you have attracted will be obvious my universe responds to the attention I give most people believe or want to believe that everything in the universe responds to their words more or less in the same way that people around them can be trained to react and behave when you tell a person come. To me, you expect her to come when you say stay away from me you expect her to stay away, but you live in a universe based on attraction, a universe based on inclusion, as we have said, which means in simple terms that there is no concept of no when you dedicate your attention to something when you look at something you want and say yes, come to me. 
you include that idea in your vibration and the law of attraction begins the process of bringing what you want. But when you look at something and say, no, I don't want that go away, the universe attracts what was focused on in the same way it is the attention you devote to the object of desire and not your vibrational alignment with it that causes the response it is not the words themselves.